There have been very few athletes that have ever had a season like Jakob Ingebrigtsen's 2023. This season has been absolutely stunning from this Norwegian talent. He has run well under 329 with regularity throughout the season. And over his last three races, his average time has been 327.94, a time that only five other men have ever eclipsed. Now, the last time an athlete broke 329 three times in a single season actually goes back to 2002, when Hisham El Garouge achieved this very thing. And if he can add yet another great stamp to his 2023 by virtue of winning a world championship title, we really could be talking about a legendary moment for Jakob Ingebrigtsen. This season really has just been one win after another for this incredible Norwegian. And recently we put up a poll on our Instagram asking you guys about some hot takes. And you honestly had a lot of interesting things to say about Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Some think that he's gonna break the world record. Some say he's gonna effortlessly drop the double in the 1500 and the 5000. But we also have a few other very interesting takes concerning Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Now, some people think Jakob Ingebrigtsen just might be unbeatable. And that is the single question that we will be covering in this video. Can anyone beat Jakob Ingebrigtsen. In the 1500, Jakob certainly looks very strong. Again, he's been undefeated in 2023, running under 330 like it's nothing, but the World Championships do present a brand new issue, which is the rounds. Since he is doubling in the 5000 and the 1500, he's gonna have to run well in excess of seven miles throughout the week, and he will certainly have to balance himself throughout each and every race. Now, in the 1500, his primary competition is probably going to be Mohamed Katir from Spain, Yared Nagus from the United States, and a few other outside athletes that have been running very well in 2023. Now for Katir, he is certainly a very good 1500 and 5000 meter runner from Spain. He's run under 1250 this season for the 5000, he's broken 330 for the 15, but in my mind, Ingebrigtsen just has a world-class kick that Mohamed Katir cannot match. And with that in mind, I think Yara Nagus might be the only athlete that can challenge Jakob Ingebrigtsen. And that's because he absolutely torched this year's indoor circuit, running a 347 for the indoor mile, he's running very well in the outdoor 15, and every now and and then, we see glimpses of absolute brilliance when it comes to his final 100 meters, getting well under 14 seconds with his incredible kick. The only weakness that Ingebrigtsen might have moving into this year's World Championships is the fact that he will be running various races, and if he puts any more miles on his legs than is necessary in any more effort, Yara Nagus could sweep in and throw down something pretty incredible over the final lap, and if Ingebrigtsen is at all vulnerable, he could lose in the 1500. Now, last year we did see this phenomenon in the men's 1500, with Jake Whiteman winning by just a few tenths over Jakob Ingebrigtsen, and this really required the perfect race from Whiteman, who kicked like a legend over the final 400 meters. Now, in the 1500, Ingebrigtsen certainly is the favorite, but the 5000 meters will probably present even more of a challenge for Jakob Ingebrigtsen, because he will have to compete against Joshua Cheptegei, Agos Gebrowit, Barihu Aragawe, Mohamed Katir once again, and even though he was one of the favorites heading into this year's World Championships, Jacob Kipolimo, another Jacob on the world scene, will not be competing in this year's World Finals, given that he is injured at the moment. Now, for the previous two Global Championship Finals, Josh Joshua Cheptegei has come out on top. He was the Olympic champion in 2021, he was the world champion last year in Eugene, and this season he has run a 12.41, which isn't quite to his world record standard, but 12.41 is flying. Now, in the 5,000 meters, a lot of people still have Jakob Ingebrigtsen as the favorite, which is pretty amazing considering the amazing depth that the 5,000 meters has brought to the forefront this season. But Jakob's kick is just incredible. He has been running extremely consistently over pretty much any distance this season, and I think probably the most telling race of his overall fitness, not just speed, is his world record that he ran in the two-mile distance this year at 7.54. Back when Daniel Komen ran his 7.58, he threw down a 12.39 nine over the 5,000 meters, very close to when he ran the 758. So if the math does add up, Jakob Ingebrigtsen could potentially run under 1240 if he were to run the 5,000 meters under solid circumstances. It will be difficult for anyone to beat Jakob Ingebrigtsen. I think he is in world-class fitness right now. However, these races still have yet to go down. And if Jakob Ingebrigtsen has any weaknesses at all, I think someone, at least one athlete, will find a way to exploit them. And now I would love to hear from all of you. What do you think about Jakob Ingebrigtsen's chances at doubling in the 1500 and the 5000? Do you think he'll come out on top? And if so, what time will be required to win these races? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.